What's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Lemmings World Tour. So, we're still on the Legend rank, and we will be for the next couple of videos, but we're ripping along. We are more than halfway through this, this rank now, which is exciting. Levels might be getting a little trickier now. Actually, we are officially at exactly the halfway mark today. We're on level 21, Kashmir by Led Zeppelin. Ooh boy, funky looking level here. Is that the Irish flag? I know Ireland, no, Ireland's flag, uh, stripes are vertical, I think. Or is that Italy? I don't need, I can't keep track of all of these. 40 lemmings, we can kill up to one of them. Unlimited time, 75 release rate, we got this nice little jungle level. I like it. Okay, limited skill set. Will they be able to climb back up there? Yes, they will, but only just barely. Okay, let's see. One way left, or one way right arrows that way. So they're going to go off to who knows where. And we can't even send a climber. Oh, wait. Yes, we can, because there's a tiny little lip. <laughs> I love my lip. All right, so we can send a climber down, and then he can stack, but then he'll die. And we probably don't want that, because bomber. And we can send a climber this way, and he can platform across there. Uh, hmm. Now, this is an interesting level, isn't it? Or maybe, well, we'd have to get them low down first. And there's no easy way to get them low down to begin with. Huh. This is a tricky one. Presumably, we're going to need to bash through all of these. Well, we have to, which means we'd have to start from like all the way back here. Huh. Le gasp. How are we going to do this? Huh. It's pretty clear platformer is needed here. Oh, wait a second! Oh, hang on. I just realized. We can send the first... Well, I don't know how much of a gap there's going to be. Yeah, that should be a big enough gap. We can have the first lemming drop down here and stack, and then the second lemming can just climb up there. We don't need to send a climber that way. And then he, the climber can platform across the bridge, and then since he's a climber, he can climb up all of these... And then he can get down to this area. Hmm. The tricky thing is going to be how do we... How do we get through all of this with the very limited amount of skills that we have? Fencer goes up way too high there. I want to see. I think they. I think they go back up. Yeah, I think it's one pixel because they get here and they have to go up one, two, three, four, five, and I think five is the maximum that they can get up. Maybe six. Although, if we have the first lemming here climb, or the second lemming here climb, then we can also stack on this side. Curiouser and curiouser. All right, you're gonna climb, that's for sure. Let's set a climber here, because he can climb up and hit his head and turn around, and that's fine. There we go. Oh wait, shoot, but if there's a climber on this side, then he'll climb up over the stack, which is not what we want to do. Alright, new new plan! I just want to see if this will work. If we build here, 
Will that stop them from getting up? No, it won't. Okay. I didn't think we would be allowed to, use, to waste a builder there anyways, but you never can tell. Two builders is not enough to get them above all this. We have to bash them out. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we're going to need to get them all contained here and fence up to the exit. The question is, how are we going to use one basher to get through all of this? This is a tricky level, make no doubt of it, eh? I am curious about that one lip over here, though. It's a strange vein. It might just be there accidentally, though. Hmm. I think the bomber is going to be needed to be used in a pretty interesting way. That's ju it's just a hunch I have. Um. Okay, I have I have a weird idea. I have a weird idea. It just might work. All right, I think. All right, I'm gonna try something. So what we're gonna do on this side, we're gonna bomb. I said on this side, we're going to bomb. I don't know why sometimes it forces me to click a bunch of times to do, assign one skill. That might just be me using a trackpad though. All right, you climb. They're all hemmed in on the left. I hope that's a big enough gap that they can stack. It should be. Now I hope this is a big enough gap that he can platform across. Oh yeah, it is. No biggie. Okay, here's my idea. So you climb up there, you fall, you climb up there, and you fall, you climb up there, and you fall. Now, if we fence up here... Oh, that's... I see. Okay. Oh wait, hang on. So we need to line this up properly. So we got a fencer right around this part, this brown pixel up there. That's where we need to start building. So if we, if we build here, we can send another climber and he can potentially fence through all of this in one go. Like so. Now here's here's what I'm wondering. If we send a basher, can we send a basher such that they'll bash through the fencer tunnel down? I'm pretty sure they're not gonna bash through down this tunnel. But that is that that is the best idea that I have. And then we have one builder to get them up at the end. No, they don't. Rats. Well, that is a bit of a bobber, isn't it? What if we stack? Because we do have a stacker left over. Wow! Okay, that actually does work. Woohoo! That's crazy! I was just trying that on a whim, but apparently that's what you're supposed to do. Uh-oh. But now I'm short a builder. Oh, and he didn't even go through all the way. Lame. That's gotta be what you have to do, though. That's gotta be. I bet you if we time the basher just right, we actually can do that.
We're gonna have to zoom out a little to line this up properly. Yeah, if we time him from a little farther back, he can bash through all of this. The problem is building them out. Aw, oh, man, are you serious? But that's too perfect to not work. Okay, you can build up, it's just very, very precise. Wow! That is amazing. I am amazed that I found that that quickly. I just, I'm like, I wonder, can you bash down fencer tunnels? I feel like you can, but it's just getting them from the basher tunnel into the fencer tunnel without stopping requires a stacker. That's genius. That is freaking brilliant. Oh, that's, that's totally intended too. That's gotta be intended right there. I used every skill and saved every lemming and that was, that was ingenious. That was so good. That is probably one of my favorite levels I've played in this pack just for that trick. And it like... I know it didn't take me all whole that all that long to solve. I've never seen that trick before, but I, I've I basically that was one of those levels where I'm like nothing else could really work with the limited skills that we had. So that that was genius. You should be proud of that level, Strato. That was so good. <laughs> if that was what you intended, which I'm pretty sure it was. Wow, like genius, absolutely ingenious, <laughs> fantastic level. Level 22, blowing in the wind by Bob Dylan. 40 lemmings, we can kill up to 5 of them. We've got a climber hatch, we've got a floater hatch. I think that's a floater hatch, not a glider hatch. And then we've got a hatch going, two hatches going through updrafts. Okay, this is a weird one. Okay, yeah, those are climbers, and, or those are floaters. And we do have, we do have free gliders. Interesting. And we've got a cloner. Okay, so they're good. They'll just go all to the exit. They are also good. Yeah, they also will survive with that updraft. And they also will just walk to the exit. That's radiation right there. Okay, so is this is the only hatch that we have to worry about. Even then, they still survive that fall, I think. Huh. So, uh, huh, this, oh wait, there are zombies. Oh, and those, okay, which hatch is zombie hatch? Not that one. Oh, and they even fall to the left, too. Wait, that should... That should not be splat height. You can see the top of it is touching the updraft, which cuts their fall, and then the bottom is extending below the ground. That should not be splat height right there. Are those two hatches both zombies? Oh, I see. Okay, well that makes... That makes things a little more, um, understandable. Okay, I was like, why can all of these hatches just go straight to the exit? I don't understand. So they walk past the exit, and I think they're gonna... Who just died? Oh, that guy just died. Okay. Oh, darn it. Well, that'll keep them penned in. The problem is the zombies are coming, the zombies are coming. Okay, this is, um... It's going to be a little more troublesome than I originally thought. Hmm. Oh, 
lava. Oh wait, we have 20 climbers. So one of these two hatches can all be climbers. And I think it's gonna benefit this hatch a lot more. So actually what we can do is we can dig at the edge here and they all fall down. We can send one lemming lemmi ahead to... Okay, okay, I think I see, I think I see what's, uh, what's gonna happen here on the left side. I think I've got that side, uh, solved. The right side is gonna be a little more difficult. Uh, presumably we're gonna send a, a glider along the top here. They can bash. And we can save one climber for this side. The only problem I've, I'm foreseeing is a lack of builders, really. Actually, now that I think about it, I think... Never mind. This side does not need the climbers as much as this side. Because this side, we can literally just dig and bash and get them all up. The issue is going to be how do we deal with the zombies. I think I know how we deal with the zombies. On both sides, actually. Actually, we might not have to do anything with the left hand hatch. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Gliders on this side. I don't know what the... The radiation is presumably going to be needed to solve the level. Otherwise, why would it be here? But I'm going to avoid using it, if at all possible. We'll deal with your side later. Can we... Okay, that's... One guy goes to this side. That's kind of a bummer. Okay, here's a fall. We have plenty of diggers. That's an easy way to keep these guys trapped. Okay. We're gonna send just one glider on this side to begin with. I think we can just do double bomber to keep them trapped in there. There, you can dig on that. S or actually, no. We're gonna let you go ahead first. Is that really the only choice we have? No, we do have an extra glider. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna bomb here, and doggone it. There's, I think they're gonna be able to get up on that side. No, they won't. Sweet. Okay. That's exactly what we want to do. Alright, you can go up ahead, and you are going to start digging further along this way. Past the updraft, right there. You're gonna dig there. So now this side is trapped. Now you're gonna build over here. Now here's what we're gonna do on this side. On this side, we're gonna dig right here. And this is gonna kill all of the zombies. Actually, none of these zombies are floaters, are they? No, they're not. So how... How close to being splat height is this, actually? Because if we just... Like, if we bomb here, will that turn it to... Yes, it will! Okay! That's literally all we have to do. Fantastic. 
So now we can just send one climber up and then either bash or dig for this bridge and everyone will go to freedom and these zombies, all the climber zombies will die now. Sweet! Okay. I think the rest of the level will be pretty smooth sailing then. Who's splat- oh yeah, the zombies are splatting. <laughs> they deserve it. Okay. So once we get low enough right around... Here we go. So now we're gonna bash. And now, we're going to build. He'll turn around and climb up. And actually, we didn't even need to do that. Because <laughs> now what we can do is we can make all of these lemmings climbers, and they can all climb up this tunnel. But before we do that... Actually, no, I'm gonna save a climber. Oh, wait, I... S this. Now we're going to build to turn him around. And now what we're going to do is we're going to send another climber, or we're going to make him a climber. He'll climb up here. And now he's going to bash through this. Oh wait, shoot. Problem. He is a glider. That's actually a big problem. Did not foresee that happening. Okay. Change of plans. We have an extra bomber. No, we don't have an extra bomber. Where did we use that? Oh, we used it here. <laughs> Forget that. Okay. Rewinding. You, you're not going to bomb. You're going to sacrifice yourself. Well, you were going to sacrifice yourself anyways, but... Now you're really going to sacrifice yourself. Okay. Now again, we bash down here. He breaks through. He builds to turn around. We're gonna bash from lower down so that way they can all get up just fine, even if he builds. Like so. Okay, now what he's... Whoops, forgot to make him a climber. Alright, now what he's gonna do, he's gonna climb up, he's gonna bash most of the way for the pillar, but then he is going to blow himself up. So that way he doesn't wreck the left side. Just like that. Now all of the zombies are going to splat. So now it's just going to be a waiting game. All the zombies are going to die. Okay. So he does that. They all go up. Crap. That was our... We can't afford to use another builder. Okay. I am being stupid. Just... Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just being stupid for no reason. Okay. We're gonna build... We're not gonna waste the builder. We're gonna use it here, because I forgot the zombies are gonna splat, because they're not floaters. For some reason, I'm like, I have... I can't build the bridge there, otherwise the zombies won't die, but they will. They splat. <laughs> splat! Alright, zombies all die. Good, there are all the zombies di or oh, not quite. Okay. Now what we're gonna do oh shoot. Actually no. This should work. No. We're gonna use our last glider here. Takes some finagling to do, but we can do this. And we do have a cloner, so we can afford to kill an extra lemming. Alright. Alright. 
Are all of them climbers? Sure enough. Okay, we're even going to have some climbers to spare. So they can all climb up to the exit. And now we have one builder left, so we can build them out of here. And then we've got two diggers left, and we can use one digger to just instantly cut the bridge. And they all go to safety, and everybody gets out safe. Nice and easy, we save an extra lemming, and all the zombies died. Nice! That was a fun level. I really like that one. <laughs> the only issue is, I'm like, I was trying to solve the level before I realized there were zombie hatches, but that's on me. I really should just let the level start before I start trying to plan for it, but I can't help myself. <laughs> Sometimes I think better before the music starts. I don't know, but it's a thing that happens. Wow, two amazing levels today. That was so fun. I have no idea what the radiation was put there for. At all. Like, not even a little bit. Maybe I had a slight bit of a back route on that level, but I felt like I did almost everything as intended. But once I figured out the climbers were going to be needed for the right-hand side, everything else just kind of fit together pretty quickly without too much finagling, so I'm, I'm a fan of that. All right, I think we're going to have to end the video there. Only two videos, but that's going to be par for the course. Only two videos, only two levels in this video, but that's going to be par for the course for the final difficulty rank legend. So expect only a couple of levels to be solved in each video. And because I do, I don't like making Lemmings videos that are more than a half hour long. And I especially don't like it when I have to um, make a whole hour video on one level that I don't even get to solve. So let's try to avoid that. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you tune in for the next episode. We'll be continuing the legend of rock and roll in this amazing world tour. So until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.